heard a few comments uh, for Tom Smith and his feature um, to the um, uh, to the idea of um, Tom Smith is the feature next month. I've got to be there. Uh, I love that man, that singer songwriter, and uh, I have heard that from poets as well as musicians and songwriters. Tom Smith grew up in rural Pennsylvania in a musical family. Music was a part of everyday life there. Coming to the Boston area, he found himself loving music, and as he gives words, uh, living at the epicenter of folk quake in Cambridge in the 1960s. So Tom has pursued his lifelong love of music making, and he considers himself a folk veteran, um, and he has been identified by some as a local folk treasure. Uh, he has performed at festivals, coffee houses, schools, concerts throughout the Northeastern United States to audiences from the very young of uh, age to uh, elders as well. He is a voice for the underserved and for justice and for hope and for peace and a better world. And I believe that is part of the contagion about hearing Tom Smith and wanting to follow him out in the world with his songs for the better for us all. He has four CDs, and he is here to share some of the songs from his uh, repertoire with us this, this morning. So please put your hands together and give a warm welcome to Tom Smith. I tried to make it short. I tried to make it short. It's an honor to be here. I've been in your seats many times and always left inspired. So thank you, thank you for that. Uh, given uh, all the things that we're reading on the front pages and how it makes us feel, let's, let's start with this. I spread my wings when the sun comes up. The whole world spins in my coffee cup. Got a magic wand from the Milky Way Wake up, it's a grand new day It's a grand new day It's a grand new day Wake up, it's a grand new day Can you sing that? Music helps it's a grand new day Good. It's a grand new day Wake up, it's a grand new day I displaced my grief with the will to care I shed that thief we call despair Here comes the dawn, I'm unafraid up. It's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. Wake up, it's a grand new a day when I will turn myself around. I'll make things better than I found. Please lend a hand, there's a lot to do. There's a tree to plant and an attitude. There's a heart to mend and a world to save. Wake up, it's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. I feel better already. It's a grand new day. Wake up, it's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. Wake up, it's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. Thank you. Thank you. 
So I, I hope you saw that in the back of the room I have these blank wristbands. And I mentioned before we started that uh, a while ago, I, I, since I'm not a professional musician, and I found myself doing a gig at a, at a, at a place, and, and in order to get in, I had to have a, a wristband that said musician. <laughs> and, and as I was sitting there in the evening and people were looking over at me and they saw, they saw that I was a musician. <laughs> and I saw that I was a musician and it was amazing how that made me feel. So I f ordered 500 blank wristbands <laughs> and they're all back there. Take as many as you like for as many days as you want or as many people you want to share it with and write on your aspirational title so that all can see and most importantly so that you can see. And on, and on that, I thought that uh, Cheryl asked us to talk a little bit about the process of songwriting and background of, our, of, of my songs. And I, on, on, on that uh, theme, I thought, well, what I would do is instead of talking about process, I'll, I'll tell you what my aspirations are. And if I can go public, like going public with my wristband, if I go public with my aspirations, you can kind of, uh, may, I'll hold myself to it, I'll try to reach those all that much better. And as I was listing my aspirations, I, I thought, you know, I aspire, I aspire to take my listeners on a journey. I invite you to take a journey with me. And it's not just an intellectual journey, but an emotional one. That's a, a major aspiration for my songwriting. And I aspire to say something. I aspire to say something new. I aspire to say something personal or human. And I aspire to say something that, uh, that's important. And I do all of this while trying to also respect and aspire to respect and honor the past. So on that, we'll start out with honoring the past. Uh, about six months ago, our daughter, Mally, who's a songwriter, <laughs> decided that she was going to go to Scotland for an extended period of time. So she'll be there for at least a year and a half, and who knows, she might even relocate there. So as a songwriter, I, uh, and she a songwriter, I thought a great going away present would be to write a song for her. So I wrote an old Scottish folk song. And I looked to the past and I saw there are some great Scottish folk songs already out there. There's one that's a bagpipe song that's sung with lusty language in uh, pubs, uh, often by drunken men in kilts uh, <laughs> with people playing bagpipes. It's called We're No Awa to Bide Awa. And I, I just loved that. Uh, and I thought, well, I'm going to use that as a starting point. So. I've used most of the chorus and I changed the melody quite a bit and wrote all of the verses to come up with this. And I'll ask you, we've already established that you can sing, so I'll ask you to learn the Scottish dialect for the chorus with me, okay? I'll sing it first and then I'll teach it too. I'm no a water by the wall. I'm no a water leave ya. I'm no a wanted by the wa, I'll I come back to see ya. I do not go away to stay away. I'm no a wa to by the wa. I'm no a wa to by the wa. I do not go away to leave ya. I'm no a wa to leave ya. I'm no a wa to leave ya. And repeat the first line again. I do not go away to stay away. I'm no a wa to bide a wa. I'm no a wa to bide a wa. I will always come back to see ya. I'll I come back to see ya. I'll I come back to see ya. Try it. I'm no a want to bide a no want to leave you. I'm no a want to leave. 
savior, no water by the war. I'm no water by the war. I'll I come back to see ya. I'll I come back to see ya. Good. I knew it when I hear your song. I'll cast off my tether to sing and dance again among the thistle and the heather. I'm no a water by the wa, no a water leave ya, no a water by the wa. I'll I come back to see. I do not fear the ocean wide to join my heart's companion. I ride the promise of the Clyde, returning with the salmon. I'm no water by the wa, no water leave ya. I'm no water by the wa. I'll I come back. You call me to your highland home to wander in the gloaming. I give my hand, I'm unashamed to shed my selky clothing. I'm no water by the wall, no water leave ya. I'm no water by the wall, I'll I come back. Water leave ya. I know what by the war. I'll I come back to see ya. Thank you. I was very moved by Paul's first poem. What did you call that poem? The Farmer's Son. This may be an appropriate response, uh, I hope. And, you know, since words are really important in here, in this place, I thought that I would uh, bring one of my songs that speaks to the importance of words. And you poets all know that sometimes what you don't say is at least as important as what you do say. The things I needed you to say You kept them safely stowed away There's something wrong with me That you could not read the signs That I gave to show the way The lines of love and loneliness are blurred in the space between your words. Some words take courage to speak. Those arrows never left your sheath To risk they'd miss their mark To show what's in your heart Would expose where you were weak But hurt can be delivered though unheard In the space between Rust is like the burning of the sun It was too slow for me to see When I 
was young And trust can span the distance that is spun Between a father and his son Time heals all wounds, I've heard this said My scars have faded where I bled Now that I've reached your age The day you went away I can say with no regret I told my son But I believe I heard In the space between your words you told me in the only way you could in the space between your words years ago I spent a long time a lot of time on the road going back to Pennsylvania back and forth to Pennsylvania and uh, like I had said earlier I'm not a professional musician but it seemed like every couple of days I was going to Pennsylvania and coming home and I thought well maybe this is what a professional musician touring musician feels like sometimes uh, I was going to take care of my mom who was ill at the time and she still lived in a house where I grew up. And uh, one time as I was down there, I took a Sunday morning and I decided to go out to the local restaurant. This is the restaurant, the Bluebird Diner, that I would go to after basketball games. And uh, before the dance, we'd all meet up there. And so anyway, I went there on a Sunday morning and I decided I would have their breakfast special. Their breakfast special was two eggs, toast, home fries, bacon, cup of coffee, and the whole bill came to two dollars and ninety-three cents. <laughs> and I, I felt like, oh man, I'm, I'm in a time warp. I'm in a time warp here. And look, the same red Naga Hyde chairs, uh, <laughs> and they still had the, the jukebox at every table, and I. I was tempted to stand up and say, hey, anybody here from the class of 67? <laughs> <laughs> Which I didn't. Uh, but at any rate, I, it, it, that business of that time warp and the notion of home and of traveling a lot on the road all came out in this song. And I guess I sort of fancied myself a, maybe a Garth Brooks or a... Bruce Springsteen or something. <laughs> and it has a little piece of a chorus that I invite you to join me in. This morning I was running late The jackknife block the interstate This touring makes me want to quit I got off on old Route 6 Black top, two lane, yellow line, familiar bluebird diner sign. Before I knew it, I pulled in. Suddenly I'm 19 again. On a road from now till then, take me home again. Take me home again. Home again. Corner booth, summer 69. Three bucks bought coffee, eggs and time. A nickel play, those old time songs by Johnny, Hank, and Christopherson. My old friend Don sat across from me. He harmonized to Bobby McGee. He 
It was the day that we filled my car with a drunk kid, dreams, and a guild guitar. On a road from now till then, take me home again. I got yanked back to the present day When I overheard the waitress say That guy lived here, right down the road Like an eagle in a pigeonhole But he used his wings and flew out of town On six strings and a country sound Why come back after all these years To this place, there's nothing here There ain't no road from now till then can't go home again She said You can't go home again Home again I left a hundred dollar tip and moved on Like the outlaw in that Woody Guthrie song I think she knows that she betrayed That part of truth that time decayed but I made my show, I arrived on time As I played my guitar and sang my rhymes I realized each song I sing Is a road that takes me home again Each song a road from now till then It takes me home again yeah. Take me home again So I guess, no, I have room for one more song here. Uh, no Tom Smith set will be complete without a topical song. <laughs> and as I was uh, thinking about the best of topical songs, the ones that really stand the test of time seem to be the ones that you can't really quite put a time or place to them, you know. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. You know, when I sing that song or when I hear that song, I know where I was when that song was first written, and, and I know how I feel, and it brings it all back. And still, I could sing it today, and it has new meaning for me. So I uh, strive, uh, I aspire to write songs that maybe are e have a certain timelessness in, in them. And I was reading the front pages, as we all do, and at about the same time I was doing some research into Greek gods that are lesser known Greek gods, and I came across the, of the primordial gods, the first god apparently was Chaos. What a great name for a god, Chaos. And uh, he fathered Erebus, the god of darkness, kind of a Hades. I guess he sort of morphed into Hades, but he's a god of darkness, Hades. And I thought these two gods would be great subjects for a song about contemporary issues. <laughs> it's kind of new, so I might have to look at the words. And it's a folk song, so I don't know your politics, but I invite you to sing the last line, repeat the last line as a refrain, last line of every verse. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Cheryl, for inviting me. With Erebus rejoicing the triumph of the dark, he rose to speak, from, shoot from ambush at the true of heart. Ignorance his arrow, hatefulness his bow. 
to forge the spears of chaos with every hammer blow. You sing. To forge the spears of chaos with every hammer blow. Yeah. I too have felt his arrow deep within my chest. Pierce it through my spirit, all hope drained from my breast. I was tempted to surrender to an endless night. Summon all my courage, I turn to face the fight. I summon all my courage and turn to face the fight. I have heard the stories, the fables, and the myths that justify the evil in this world in which we live. They tell them loud and often until lies become their truth, but they'll be undisguised when their lies come home to roost. They'll be undisguised when their lies come home to roost. I put my faith in goodness, I put my faith in light, and in that faith empower the strength to make it right. I will not give in to hatred, to failure or despair, for there is nothing broken that love cannot repair. There is nothing broken that love cannot repair. Who are disheartened, discouraged, or confused, mistreated or oppressed, abandoned or abused. The moral arc is long, and to justice it will bend. But let it be recorded, we bent it with our hands. Yeah. Let it be recorded, we bent it with our hands. The moral arc is long. To justice it will bend And let it be recorded We bent it with our hands Thank you. Thank you for singing.